Hey there, stampers and crafters. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Tammy from stampwithtammy.com, and today I'm here to share a fun tip I learned from my friend Connie Stewart and Sierra Actel, and it is a paper pumpkin tip. So you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, you're loving the projects, you're not sure how to store the stamp sets. You're getting all these great exclusive stamp sets in these kits in the mailbox each month, and you don't know how to store them so you've got all these boxes filled with instructions and leftover pieces and stamp sets i'm gonna show you what to do with them for those of you who may not be familiar with paper pumpkin yet whoo you don't know what you're missing it's awesome this is a kit subscription it's a kit that comes from stampin up in the mail each month some of us may even get more than one each month <laughs> mm. <laughs> anyways it is my favorite thing to see in the mailbox each month, and it is a party in a box. You open it up and everything you need to make the projects that month are in there, anywhere from five to ten projects. They are There's an exclusive stamp set, the adhesive is even in there, they're fabulous. And then once you make them all, the problem that I was running into is that I have all of these boxes stacked up on my shelf, and I'm wondering, hmm, there has to be a better way to do this. And then boom, along comes Connie Stewart and my friend Sierra Actel, and they have this fabulous idea to store them, wait for this, in Project Life albums. Oh, I'm not kidding. Project Life or Paper Pumpkin. Who'd have thunk of this? Well, Connie Stewart, of course. <laughs> Love that girl. This is genius. It's such a quick, easy tip. You're gonna love it. So here's a quick peek at my friend Sierra's album. She covered hers with the Stampin' Up! designer paper and it just is darling. And here's my naked album. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, don't worry. I covered up the private parts with a ribbon so we can keep this a family show and we don't have to change the rating just because I have a naked Project Life album. <laughs> this is the 6x8 espresso album that Stampin' Up! carries. This is actually just one of the thank you cards that came in the paper pumpkin box that I stuck to the front. I just thought it was super cute, so you know what's inside here. Now when I opened it up, these are the six by eight variety pack of pockets. You know, normally you would have your photos and your project life cards and your scrapbooking memorabilia, but paper pumpkin, just genius that it fits in there. I labeled mine with just a little label for each set so I knew which one was which. And when you have leftover pieces, these Project Life envelope pocket packs are perfect. So I put in here leftover pieces, instructions, anything else I might want to keep from them. So now once I make my paper pumpkins, I don't have the stack of orange boxes with all the leftover stamp sets and stuff in them. And I can recycle these boxes and use them for gifts or to store my cards and projects that are already made in. This is the 2015-16 Stampin' Up! catalog. I just wanted to point out. So that's the album that I used, the variety pack of 6x8 photo pocket pages, and the Project Life envelope pages for the 6x8, those three items. And I'll have links in the YouTube description. And if you go to my blog address here, I'll have all the details there too. And you can purchase them right in my online store right there. Just boom. You can click right on this video or go to that URL. You want to go there anyways because I have a bunch of paper pumpkin ideas there as well as regular Stampin' projects and I post new ideas there every day. So I love to keep you inspired. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for joining me today.